Noob Noob, I heard you're about to get your favorite band back in action. <gasps> I'm an emptiness machine! Oh, that's right. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, some Lincoln pork. You like the pork? You just hired me as the main vocalist. Clearly, I'm better than the one with the tits. <laughs> you could do better than uh, Big Old Tickums? Yeah, I could, I, could, I could squeeze your titties and sing at the same time. <laughs> that makes you a winner? Yeah. So she seems okay. She seems all right. Yeah, this is your review. You're the one who's the big Lincoln pork fan. Uh, the world is a Lincoln Park fan. How dare you? Yes. I mean, it's very difficult to replace uh, Chester Benahoff and Weiss. <laughs> yeah, he uh, he was not hung in the right way, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Whoa! He <Yeah>. was... <laughs> R.I.P. <laughs> he was... Uh, what? He was also the lead singer of, like... Was he Velvet Revolver? And he was... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Velvet, Velvet Revolver, yeah. And he was also in Stone Temple Violets? I don't know. He just sang a bunch of... I think he got more and more depressing songs as he got closer to offing himself. Wow. Yeah. Well, is did this... Did you listen to their album right before he uh, he did it? Like, it was a depressing album. Mm, I'm going to say... No. What album was that? Uh, what was it called? One More Light. Okay. Maybe I heard I one of those songs. Couple, I think there was a couple songs about suicide in it. So. Oh. Yeah. A little foreshadowing, unfortunately. <laughs> I, yeah, I think he was hanging out too much with Chris Cornell, and uh, well, at least it was it was it wasn't drugs, though, was it? No, I think he hung himself. Oof. Yeah. Brutal. Well, let's talk about more positive things then. <laughs> let's talk about like the, the the new lead singer is hotter than Chester Bennington. <laughs> you sure? Uh, Emily Armstrong. I don't is know that her name. Yes. Oh, it is. Yeah, she's from another band I've never heard of, so I don't really know. She actually can sing. It seems like. It seems like, huh? I was surprised. I listened to their, what was it, Emptiness Machine song, and I listened to it live. I was like, eh, it doesn't sound that great. And then I listened to the actual version, and I'm like, all right, I can get behind this. Uh, well, Shinoda. what were you going to say about Shinoda? Sings too Shinoda's much? Shinoda's pretty good at it. Uh, no, he's, he sings a lot in it, but he can't sing live, but he can sing record it, so that's good. So this is their first new music since uh, seven in seven years since twenty seventeen. Yeah, twenty seventeen. Yeah. They also replaced their drummer. That that seems like in a band with a lot of drum machines that that's not that big of a deal. Uh, yeah, I don't. I think the, the, that was probably a package deal. I think that drummer came with came from the girl. Oh, <laughs> the girl <laughs> she's band. like you can't do anything uh, unless you bring me. She's uh, yeah, the alt rock band Dead Sarah. And uh, she's a songwriter and producer who worked with Papa Roach, One OK Rock, and All Time Low. Those are all bands. I do like All Time Low. They're okay. Uh, and that the original band drummer, Rob Borden, has decided to step away. I mean, couldn't they just replace him with a machine? There's not a lot of li- I mean, I would say they're not known for their live drumming. I don't think in their they're known songs. for their live anything. <laughs> it's all just hitting a bunch of buttons. It, yeah, and yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't know why there's a big divide between them singing in a studio versus them singing live. Like, it's you, usually you, worse, but it's not usually that worse. You know, like, it, performing live is extremely difficult, right? You understand that? Is it, though? Because you couldn't do it? Is that what the issue No, is? I'm absolutely... It, it was... You had to practice performance anxiety talking about practice what are you talking about practice you had talking about up and it still practice. Didn't, still didn't go off is what you're saying no i was great live uh we really feel empowered with this new lineup and the oh, vibrant wow. and energized new music we've made together oh, we're shit, weaving <laughs> we're weaving together such sonic touch points we've been known for and still exploring new ones they have five arena shows in Los Angeles, New York, Germany, London, and South Korea, as well as a sixth concert in Bogota, Colombia. It's kind of exciting, I guess. And I did listen to the new song. And okay, right. uh, it's it's all right. I mean, it's, you know, she definitely has something that reminds me of Chester Bennington. 
that he's... She does scream like a man. Like, she can sing like a girl, and then she starts screaming. You're like, oh, that... She just grew a penis. <laughs> she transitioned. I yeah. feel like she's got something. So she's got, like, there's something there. I think the newest song sounds a little weak, but it's not bad. It's not a bad song by any stretch of the imagination. I just don't think it's like... And the lyrics are pretty... Pretty, uh, the emptiness machine. Come on, man. Just why don't you sing about your washing machine? (laughs) Just sing about your washing machine. That would be my washing machine. It's empty. There's no clothes. I I think I'd like that song better if they sang about their washing machine. Uh, yeah, probably. I feel like it would have made more sense. I mean, they've been around for what, like 20 years or something? So. Yeah, and then their band, the album's called From Zero, which was their original band name. Adorable. No, they're, I thought their original band who called their band Zero, not, oh, as in it's From Zero, because they yeah. were Zero. Uh-huh. The four surviving members who called their band Zero before Bennington joined and renamed it Lincoln Pork. I like the pork. Pork, pork. I'm tasty with the pork. So what do you give the song? It's like a six out of ten. Woo! It's decent. Oh, that's pretty I'd low. Like six Lincoln out of Park. ten. It's 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 okay. I'd have to see. You know, if if I I'll look up some images of her. It might go to a seven or eight if she's hot. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say, I'm curious who directed the video, because um, what's his face is known for directing, but then he kind of like I guess they all got rich and stopped doing things. Who, Shinoda? No, Shinoda. I know he has directed. I think he is, but Joe Han. Joe Han was directing a bunch of their videos. Is that the Asian dude? Yeah, the DJ. Yes. Where's Steve Aoki? <laughs> Not in that band. Oh, they re- last released a uh, Best Of album in 2023. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was like a hybrid theory collector's edition or something. I forget what it was called. Oh, they wrote like a whole, there's a whole, there's a lot of songs on there. There's one, well, that's an intro, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven songs. I thought, and I think they changed have like 20 songs. No, they normally have like 10 songs. Really? If you're lucky. Oh, yeah. And they, do they have a new logo? Is that what that is? I like the album cover's kind of interesting. I don't know what it is, but it looks cool. Pink pussy. Yes. Me being pussy. <laughs> it's real weird. Like the music video is a little weird because it's like the one dude's like, I'm at my day job. And you know, where's that guy? Hold on. Shinoda's like, the one dude's like, I've been playing video games this whole time that we've been gone. And the other dude's like, I'm at my day job. <laughs> Look, do you see it on the screen? Yeah, I don't They're really like, know. They're like, this is what, what we've been doing. Been this guy was playing video games. Uh, and then uh, Shinoda was was painting. He's been painting this whole time. And then the girl, she's like, I wasn't famous, so I was just delivering. I was doing Uber Eats. <laughs> That's oh, what it geez. looks like in the video. Yeah. I'm not sure. She she seems like I said she's got uh, something there with her voice, but everything else, it's it's fine. It's all fine. I just don't know I'll, if the song. I'll listen to the album. You're gonna? Are you gonna buy it? Or are you gonna stream no, you think it? I buy music. Jesus. Oh wow! So six out of ten for you right now. Nice. For the Lincoln pork, gonna get all porky. So speaking of other music, there's a ten out of ten song by uh, Tom McDonald. It's amazing. Oh okay. Well, I am. Uh, I'll give it. I'll give it a five out of ten. I don't think it's that good. It's not bad, but it's not good, and it's not catchy enough for me to be like this is a hit. So, I think that's our thing. So, uh, let us know what you think in the comments down below. Are you excited for some Lincoln pork? You want to get old porky, or are you like this is a bad move, fellas? You probably should have quit while you're ahead. Right off into the sunset. Let us know in the comments below, and uh, yeah, we love all y'all. Thank you for listening. Thank you for checking us out. But we are on to the next one. Thanks for catching the video. Be sure to join our channel to get the education you deserve. Make sure you check out our shorts, live streams, and catch us on all the socials. Don't forget to like and subscribe.